When it comes to Q&A and advice videos here at Backyard Tech, old mate likes making them. Even if some of them are weird, wacky, wonderful and interesting. But I don't often get a three-pronged attack in one video. Well, I have now. It is old mate's Q&A and advice time here at the Backyard Tech channel. This one, hardware, software, ZFS and old mate. Anything AV. Most things IT. Heaps of stuff about the 80 series Land Cruiser. Got questions, need answers and advice? This is Old Mate's Q&A and advice from Backyard Tech. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. You are watching TBIM here at the Backyard Tech channel. It is unfortunately still Monday morning. And it is old mate's Q&A and advice time here. And like I said, I don't often get a three-pronged attack. But I have this time. Um, this is from a viewer by the name of ADCABJCDD. Mm -hmm. Sent in via email. Hi, I have three questions I want answered. First... Why do you hate software? Second, why do you insist on using hardware? Third, do you hate ZFS? <coughs> okay. Um, where to start answering this? All right, we'll start. We'll go in order of question. Do I hate software? I don't hate it because if I did, I wouldn't use a computer. Simple. I just don't want to know how it works. I use software. I don't give a stuff how it's all built, how it's all made, how it's all compiled, nothing. I've mentioned this more times than I've got fingers and toes, that when I attempted to do software programming and coding back at the beginning of 1999, I catastrophically failed it. C, C++, Fortran, COBOL, machine code, assembly language. I scraped through on OOP, but that was it. If I'd failed OOP, there's a possibility I may have failed my IT course. So I only just scraped through. Um, I don't attest to understanding all facets of software because frankly I don't actually care how the software works I care that the software gets done what I want to get done right now many people out there these days we know um, there's a lot of money to be made if you're a software developer 20 something years ago it was you needed both people hardware and software people to get something done Nowadays, though, we know that it doesn't matter what hardware you've got, an operating system and a software package will run on that hardware. Okay? So, I don't give a stuff. You know, I'm not interested in creating applications. I'm not interested in making software. It, it, it ha if I was... I'd be financially so secure now than I have been ever before. Um, as I said, you know, within six months of getting my first PC, I was pulling the hardware ap apart and putting it back together. I didn't care about the software. I didn't care if the software broke. We just reinstalled DOS. It's not that hard. Reinstall DOS, reinstall power menu off a couple of five and a quarter inch floppy disks and the job done. You know, so I'm not into software. I, I, I attest to never having been interested in software. I use it. Do I want to make it? No. No. So if I hated software, I wouldn't be anywhere near a PC of any sort. Or I'd have no interest in computers or servers or anything like that. Okay. So, basically it comes down to, 
I don't care how a piece of software is written. I care a piece of software will do what I want it to do. Now, I know with Linux and Unix, you have at the very core of the operating system, the kernel that drives everything. Very similar to Windows, okay? Same with macOS, right? So you have the main core of an OS that runs the system. I don't give a stuff what's in it. Honestly, I don't care what's in it. You know, I, I'm, you know, as long as either an operating system appeals to me, I'm happy. I don't give a, I, you know, I'm not interested in rewriting the kernel. I'm not interested in rewriting, you know, my own Unix. I've got no interest in it. It's like saying, you know, I'll go out and write an application written in, you know, PHP. I can't do it. I mean, the fact that I've failed two IBM languages, C, C++, and barely scraped through on OOP, should indicate that software and coding versus old mate are like two North Poles. It ain't ever going to happen. So... I don't hate software, I'm just not interested in it. Honestly, I am not. If I was, I would be rewriting and coding and programming and creating my own operating system. I've got no interest in it whatsoever. I mean, let's face it. My two main Linux operating systems, OpenMan Driver and LX4, uh, MX19 One, right? I use them because I like the look of them. I like the feel of them. Obviously, anything Mandriver has a very special place with me because of my my journey with Linux. But I don't I don't care. I, you know, it, the two operating systems are very different, and so that gives me a variety of two OSs. But I'm not, you know, I don't care. You know, MX sits on Debian. I'm not going to get into the kernel and start rewriting the kernel. I'm not interested in it. So to say I hate software is not the right terminology. I'm not interested in software. I'm not interested in creating it. It bears no interest to me whatsoever. Now, all you software guys are going to absolutely SH1T on me from a great height because I've just let fly about the fact that I hate software, but I do. Now, why do I insist on using hardware for everything? Because I like hardware. That's simple. I like big hardware. You know, very few of my computers are small. Physically small. You know, I'm not interested in a NUC. I like a big system which is why I've got big servers, why my main PC is big. You know, I'm not interested in small stuff. My main laptop is huge. I've always loved working with hardware. Um, I read a lot of articles regarding hardware. Troubleshooting guides, problem solving, working out ways of getting things to work. Classic example. That Celeron SFF that was running the firewall, that was a hardware problem. I was in my element trying to figure out what piece of hardware was causing the cascading effect down the line. And that stems from my love of dealing in hardware. Where I was working in Melbourne many years ago, I was in charge of all the hardware. We had guys who would set up the software and that, I do the hardware. I do the tedious server hardware trouble. Why is the RAID card failing? Or there's a comms issue somewhere. Or we've got an IRQ problem. Or is the CPU has the CPU lost a core or something like that or lost a thread? You know, that's what I love working with. You know, why are the PCI cards getting so hot? Have we got a VRM problem on the on the PCI bus? Have we got a, uh, 
a um, chipset that's failing. You know, all that type of stuff. That's where I'm in my element. I prefer hardware to anything else. Right? Um, now, is I don't know whether it's a he or a she. I should clarify that. Uh, ZFS. Do I hate it? Well, hardware and ZFS, I'm going to make into one answer. No, I don't hate ZFS. I just don't use it. The reason, and I, I know I'm going to get, again, SH1T'd on from a great height regarding this. I don't use ZFS because, number one, I have perfectly good RAID cards that are still fully functional. Plus, I do have patience to wait on a RAID configuration for a data transfer. 99% of people don't want to wait. It's not that I don't, it's not that I hate ZFS. I just don't need to use it. Right? The flip side to that would be, if my RAID cards were non-functional, all my LSI Mega RAIDs, which are still fully operational and supported by my various OSs, if I could not get them to work, then yes, I would have I would be forced into a situation of having to use ZFS, ZVOL, the whole lot. Granted, yes. Yes, ZFS does have faster access read write times that leave RAID cards in the in in the dust. Yes, yes, ZFS is a completely volume manager with better RAID redundancy capacity. Yes, 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 I know, I know. My RAID cards still work. Now, if my RAID cards still work, I will use them. I can wait the extra 496 hours for a VM to load off a RAID card. Yes, I can wait the extra 1290 hours to transfer 40 megabytes out to Quantastore, which is on a RAID 5 hardware. Right? Yes, I know ZFS beats RAID cards in performance, throughput, redundancy, management, um, speed, capacity, uh, all of it. Yes, 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 fine, I know. My RAID cards still work. So with my RAID cards still working, I will use them. Because if I have a, if I have perfectly good RAID cards, I will use them. Anyone who's been around the Backyard Tech Channel long enough knows, if I can find a use for a piece of hardware, regardless of what that hardware is, be it a graphics card, be it an ethernet card, be it a SCSI card, be it, yeah, whatever, I will use it. Okay, so I don't hate ZFS. Now, we know ZFS and ZVOL are not just a partition scheme and a, and a, um, um, a format scheme. We know ZVOL can do everything. You know, it, it has better expandability. It uses less sync space on the drives. It's slightly faster in a rebuild, depending on drive capacity. Um sync rate, backplane speed, so on and so forth. Yes, I know. Yes, ZVOL is better along with ZFS, especially under solid state storage. I get it, I get it, I get it. I will reiterate, my RAID cards still work. And if they still work, then I will use them as a RAID card. It's as simple as that. I, um, you know, I don't, I know these days that some people see old mate as living in the dark ages because I still use, you know, hardware raid cards that run at, you know, one pico bit per day. I mean, you talk to, you talk to the some some of the hardened ZFS Unix guys or ZFS Linux guys. They'll look at a RAID card and say, "I'm not waiting 900 years for 20 megabytes to transfer." ZFS does it like that. 
yes, I know that. I accept that. Again, I reiterate the point. My raid cards still work. Now, Quantastore, right? By default, Quantastore is ZFS. You format a hard drive, it is ZFS. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Now, if I wanted to create a ZVOL array from two existing RAID units, I can. I choose not to. So, to sit there and ask, why do I hate ZFS, is not the right way of putting it. I don't use ZFS because I don't need it. Now, okay, for example, classic example. Um, QStore 113 goes down. All right. Now, the onboard controller of those super micros is useless. And if you know your super micro servers, you know that they are terrible. So if that was the case, I would then put the drives into AHCI mode, which individualizes each drive, and ZFS the hell out of it in Quantastore. Complete, uh, do a complete ZVOL. Yes, fine, I would. Why haven't I? Simple, my RAID card still works. Now, yes, I know that it takes 930 years for me to transfer one gig between the main PC and the 720. Now, if it was ZVOL, yes, it would be quicker because you don't have the cache delay and you don't have the buffer sync delay in ZVOL that you do on a hardware RAID card. We all know that. That dates right the way back to freaking SCSI. And for those who don't know what SCSI is, small, con small computer system interface, more commonly known as SCSI. Now, as long as my RAID cards still work, I will use them until I kill them. Because that's exactly what I do with anything. I run a system so far into the ground, it doesn't start again. I've always done that with hardware. I run the hardware until it is dead. Whether the, the operating system or the piece of software dies beforehand's up to it. So, to answer your question, I don't hate software, I just profess not to want to know how it all works. I love hardware, I love working with hardware, I love diagnosing hardware, I love everything hardware. I don't hate ZFS, I just don't use it while my hardware hard drive controllers are still in perfect working order. And the other thing is I can wait the 900 years to transfer something. Unlike some people who have n almost no patience. But yes, I do attest to knowing the fact that ZVOL and ZFS is far, far superior to that of a hardware RAID. I get it. But if I've got perfectly good hardware RAID cards out there, I'm going to use them. Now, we know with ZVOL and ZFS that you can add drives straight to it. The volume manager picks it up and you can decide what to do with it. With Quantastore, I can control the hardware RAIDs on both QStore servers from Quantastore because Quantastore gives me access to the RAID controller. Similar way that would happen is if you were running a ZVOL system with ZFS. Yes, I know. But until my LSI cards fail, I'm going to use them. Now, okay, yeah. I avoid RAID 1 at any cost. I avoid RAID 0 at all cost. I really only use RAID 5. Now, RAID 6 is better. RAID 60 is even better. RAID 50 is even better. I don't have the hard drive capacity to run it. I, I don't run anything RAID 0. That is catastrophically dangerous. All right? The reason is no redundancy. <coughs> I 
even if I was running a full Zvol system, I wouldn't use RAID 0. Because we all know one hard drive dies, you have lost the lot because it's a spanned setup. So you RAID 0, you add the capacity of each drive in that VG volume group. And so if you're running six one terabyte hard drives, that's effectively six terabytes. Five point eight five terabytes. Effectively six. But you lose, say, out of a five drive or six drive VG and you lose drive zero, you've lost everything. So hopefully that answers your question. I don't hate software. I just don't care how it works. I have no interest in understanding how it all works. I love hardware. I always have loved hardware. I deal in hardware. Um, and as far as ZFS, I don't hate it. But until I need to use it with perfectly fully functional hardware RAID, I'll continue to use hardware RAID even if I am the only one in the entire world that does. All right? It's the same with my SCSI system. My cards, my U320 SCSI cards, which, yes, take several billion years to transfer one kilobyte, um, they all still work. They all still rate up beautifully. They've still got... One of them's got... 512 megs of cache RAM in it. SD RAM. Still works. Do I have to use it as a RAID? No, I could create a ZVOL RAID using SCSI controller. I just choose not to. There we go. Old mate's Q&A and advice. Stick around. Hopefully this refurb shows up shortly. It was supposed to be here over an hour and a half ago and it's still not here. So I don't know what's happening. Anyway, stick around. More coming up. Have a good one. Cheers. This has been another presentation from Backyard Tech.